guys. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to March 14th. It's the second Sunday in March already. Things are going really quick, right? All right, I want you to think about your favorite animal and why that is your favorite animal, okay? You got it? My favorite animal is my dog, Chewbacca because he's my dog and he loves me so much. Um, he's just a really good dog. I really like him. So it's not just dogs are my favorite animal, it's this one dog, Chewbacca, is my favorite dog, okay? And it's okay to have a favorite animal or maybe animals we don't like very much. I was trying to think about an animal I didn't really like and I can't think of one. Um, snakes aren't my favorite, but I don't not like them. I mean, they have a purpose, right? Um, however, it's okay to have favorite animals, right? Or not so favorite animals, but the Bible teaches us that people are made in God's image. So it is sinful to say some groups are better than others, okay? So groups of people, we shouldn't have favorites. Um, today, we're going to learn a little bit more about how Jesus taught the early church to accept all people, okay? All people. So before we get into our story, let's talk, uh, or let's do our activity sheet. It's called Clean and Unclean. Now, in the Old Testament, there's, um, in the book of Leviticus, there's some chapters that talk about which animals at that time were considered clean animals and okay to eat and other animals that were not clean. So if you want to look up in your Bible and read about that, you can do that. But it says to circle the animals that you think would be clean or acceptable to eat um, according to the Old Testament law and cross out any animals that you think would be unclean. Okay, so go ahead and do that and pause your video and come on back and we'll talk about the story, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, our big picture question to talk about. Well, before I even get into that, let's talk about our activity sheet. The Old Testament law said that they set some animals apart as clean while the rest were unclean. And today we're gonna learn about a time when God commanded Peter to eat unclean animals because he, God, had made them clean. What else do you think God can make clean? Hmm, we'll think about that when we get to our story, okay? As we learn more about the church, I want to consider the big picture question, okay? and the answer. So the big picture question this time, we have a new one. It is, what is the gospel? Okay, I think you guys have heard that word before. We've said it here in, in first and second grade. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent his son, Jesus, into the world to rescue sinners. The whole Bible tells the story of God's rescue plan. And the church is made up of all the people who have heard the good news, believe it is true, and trust in Jesus to save them. Okay? So, after Jesus rose from the grave and returned to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to live in his disciples and give them power. Okay? They use that power to preach the truth to people all over the world, right? The gospel was spreading, remember? You guys have heard that. So the church grew, but for the most part, it was the Jewish people who believed and became part of the church, okay? So this week, we will learn that God did not, or God did what God did to help the early church understand that his plan is to rescue sinners from every nation every tribe and every people group, okay? So not just the Jewish people, but all people. So our Bible story today comes from the book of Acts. It's from chapter 10, and it is called Peter and Cornelius. So let's watch our video, and then we'll come on back, okay?
Cornelius was a Roman soldier. He loved God, helped other people, and prayed to God. One day, God sent an angel to Cornelius. The angel said, Cornelius, God heard you when you prayed. The angel told Cornelius to send some men into the city to find Peter. So Cornelius sent two servants and one soldier into the city. In the city, Peter went up on the roof of a house to pray. Then Peter saw a vision. A vision is like a dream, but Peter was awake. He saw a big sheet coming down from heaven. In the sheet were all kinds of animals, snakes and lizards and birds. A voice said, get up, Peter, eat. But Peter didn't want to. He thought the animals were unclean. A voice said, God has made these clean. Peter saw the vision three times, and he tried to figure out what it meant. Then the men Cornelius sent into the city found the house where Peter was staying. They told Peter to come to Cornelius' house. So the next day, Peter went with the men. When Peter saw Cornelius, he told him that the good news about Jesus is for all people, not just Jews. Everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven, Peter said. The people there believed. Cornelius, his family, and his friends were baptized, and Peter stayed with them for a few days. God showed Peter that the good news about Jesus is for everyone. God wants believers to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they are or what they do. Jesus is the Lord of all. All right, welcome back, guys. So the Old Testament laws had strict rules about which animals could and could not be eaten. The vision God gave Peter was about more than just food. Okay? God was showing Peter that the gospel is for all people. God's plan all along has been to glorify his name in all the earth. That, uh, the blessings that God has promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were always supposed to be carried through um, them to the rest of the world, a blessing used to bless others. So Jesus, the fulfillment of that promised blessing, had come, lived a perfect life, died on the cross that we deserve, right? He died the death that we deserve and rose again to defeat death. The time had come for Peter and the other apostles to carry the gospel beyond just the Jewish people to people of all nations. So the Bible teaches us that all people are born in sin and we all need a savior. That is why the gospel is so beautiful. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent his son Jesus into the world to rescue sinners, not just some sinners, but all sinners who have faith in Jesus. God showed Peter that just as there is no clean or unclean food, there are no clean and unclean people. God calls believers to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they are or where they came from. Jesus is Lord of all. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you are Lord of all. Help us to honor you and give you the glory you deserve. All people are made in your image, and we pray for your love to fill us and help us love everyone around us. Give us courage to tell the world of your love and mercy. Amen. All right, we have a new Bible verse that's going to help us to... Um, live the way that God wants us to live and to understand our story a little bit better. So our Bible verse today comes from 1 Chronicles 
13. That's a lot, right? First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 31. Sorry, I think I said the wrong one. First Chronicles 16, 31, okay? Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. So God is the one true God. He is Lord of all creation, which means he is God over all nations. That's everywhere on earth, right? Not just Canyon country, not just California, not just the United States, all of it, right? His plan to rescue the world, his plan is to rescue the world from sin is the reason to praise him. Okay? Have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.